guys, come and ask question on my channel. It's Matt, how do you find raids for your videos? Today, I'm going to go over the best ways to do that and the ways that I find all my raids in my videos, and it's going to be awesome. But before we get into it, here's a little video I put together of what you should expect after using these methods. <laughs> Let's go guys, there we go, you've been seeing a little video of the previous raids I've done using these methods, of course that is literally about 10 out of the hundreds of raids I've done using these methods, so if you guys want to check them out, of course go on my channel. The first method is what I like to call the entity tandy, this is my favourite method and what I usually use every single day, and what I find is the most effective to find raids, like literally nearly every raid I do is using this tactic. This is how you do the entity tactic, so basically guys, first you start off by pressing F3 on your keyboard and look up here where the entities are and see what it says after, so right now you can see E, uh, colon right here, and it's a 0 out of 17, that basically means in this uh, chunk, I mean, because obviously, if you guys know in Minecraft, there's loads of chunks. Obviously, this chunk right here, if I run over here, the entities will go down. Um, so give me a second, go over here, and over here, you'll see the entities will slowly go down. So, what you guys gonna want to do is go into the one. Of course, if you're on my server, IP will be down below and on the top right of the screen. Basically, guys, what you're gonna want to do is do dash wild, and that's just the place you plug it on our server. It takes you to a random place in the server, press F3. You guys will see that I'm in my chunk by myself. So, what you're gonna want to do for me is literally just press F3 as I've just done. Literally, look at the entities and just run, guys. Just run as far as you can, and hopefully, you can find a base very soon. Of course, as I said, try and go for something above five entities. That's what I would usually do. But of course, if um, there's any, like maybe three or four, you may want to go as well and have a look at that. But either way, hope you guys uh, have some luck. Of course, it does say you could find ten in one day, you could find zero in one day. It really depends on how lucky you are and if you are effective with uh, finding the methods. So obviously, you could do this in the sea as well. A lot of uh, people like to build their bases under the water because obviously it just seems a bit more uh, safe, I guess. So of course, if you want to get in a boat and do the same thing, that would be uh, good as well. It's basically a base down below. So I set this up as an example for you guys to see what's going to kind of happen. So of course, I'd be running around, see this, uh, all these entities right here, and go, okay, let's go down here and have a look at the base. So let me quickly script down below. So usually you'll be finding, like, spawners and, like, farms. And then, of course, right here, I've got some uh, chickens right here and some two chicken spawners that, obviously, you can mine. I'm going to mine them right now. Of course, they weren't mine, so I didn't, <laughs> I didn't really gain any profit. But basically, guys, what you want to do is find raids like these and, of course, find this stuff. So basically, right here, I've done a little example of what sort of entities are. So basically, every single entity right now is in this area. So obviously, I'll track down one there as well. So basically, everything right here in this picture right now is what an entity actually is. So basically, let me know in the comments down below if I missed one. I might do actually miss one, I'm not too sure. But basically, entities are either a mob, so of course you can find like zombie spawners, uh, blaze spawners, any single time spawner, you'll be able to find obviously using this tactic, which is actually very good, because they're normally very expensive on all faction servers, so look out for them. Of course, an iron frame is also a entity, so obviously if you use iron frame to like uh, label your chest, obviously that's a risk that you're going to get raided through this rep method. Um, then you've got a painting, of course, that's a that's a uh, entity once again. Of course, a armor stand is also a method, and of course, as I said, uh, spawners and stuff like that, so obviously if anyone's got a spawner, and chicken spawn or anything spawns, of course, you'll be able to find that. So to recap, what you guys want to do is go into the wild, press F3, look at your entities, it usually be a 0 out of 1, keep running until you find 0 out of like, I don't know, like 10 or above, around that sort of radius, and of course dig down, and you should find a base, and there you go guys, you have found an unclaimed base, and there you go, all of it is yours, let's get into the next method. This second method is called the sky base, that's what I like to call it, it's obviously these are not like official names, these are just what I call it, basically guys, this is what you're going to use to find sky bases and such like that, so obviously as of course, what you're going to want to do is you're going to need blocks guys, you're going to need a lot of blocks for this, because you're going to probably be doing this for a little while because it's quite hard to do but when you do find them usually sky bases are quite rich because they're quite hard to find so when you do find them they're usually quite good so maybe worth it may not be is literally just go to the ground go to a random place in the earth and just dig straight up guys just go straight not dig straight up <laughs> just block straight up and i guess what i'll do right now is quickly cut it until i'm at the top there we go now right, right there and basically guys so what you want to do is go to about the level i'd say around 220 around that area because obviously if you guys didn't know uh the limit the top limit is 256 so usually obviously people would go to 256 but basically guys i will not do that because obviously if you're at this level and there's something at 256, um, you see that's it. So basically, I just go to this level so you can see like as much as you can, like the biggest radius you can around this sort of 220 level. That's what I usually do myself. And then what you're gonna want to do is literally just straight up, guys, just do this and just blog, guys. Just freaking blog. I know, as I said, this may take a very long time. You may get very lucky, you may not. Uh, so if I actually block off a little bit more, you guys will see that I've actually built a base up there out the clouds. And so this is what I was talking about. If you guys, if it's above you, you'll still be able to see because it's actually in the radius. Basically, what I'm gonna do, guys, is just block around and then every once in a while, just look up, look around, see if you see any base, and obviously if you have Optifine, you can actually zoom in a little bit more, and you may be able to see a little further, but either way, uh, maybe put some music on, put a video on, put a movie on, whatever you guys want to do, just do something in the background, because obviously if you're just looking at your screen doing this silently, it may get very boring and very frustrating, and it may 
may not be very fun. So what I usually do is just get put on some music, uh, talk to some friends, whatever you guys want to really want to do. And of course, uh, then once you're here, end up all over or block over. And of course, you're at the base. And uh, and then you guys, you have found a sky base vault. And it's just constant long, guys. And uh, yeah, <laughs> good luck, guys. And let's get into the last and final method. Probably the most useful one. Uh, sorry, the most well-known one. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Final method I'm going to show you guys today, as I said before, is the well-known one, the one that literally everyone will tell you. And obviously, as I said, the third method me. So literally, if the entity tactic doesn't work, if the sky base doesn't work, I would usually just do this. I usually do this at the same time, actually. So while you're doing the other methods at the same time, what I would recommend, guys, is to do dash F map on in the chat, which basically means the map F map will always be on. Dash F map is the most well-known one, and then probably the most used one, but at the same time, it is still very, very effective. And actually, if I quickly go over here, you guys will see that I found a base over here for an example for you guys, and we have found a raid on. Corn hub right there, corn hub, and basically if we run over here, you will see um, north, east, south, west. So basically, you can see it's north, east to me. So over here it says north, and over here it says east and north, east. Over here, you will find the base over here, and that is the way you find bases. And basically, it's a very easy way to find a claim base. And of course, at the same time, they're usually raided. But if you do find a quite lucky one, then of course you may find a good base that you can actually TNT cannon in or whatever the uh, case may be. There you guys, there you go. That's how you're gonna find some raids. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're on here. Of course, let me know in the comments down below if you did leave a like. If you guys didn't know, if you're new around here, if you ever really like my video, let me in the comments down below, and I'll love you in the comments down below, because you're freaking awesome, I appreciate it. My two will be down below, guys, go follow me there, and I'll basically do a giveaway tonight, so if you guys want to check that out, of course you can. Either way, guys, thank you guys so much for watching once again, I love you guys so much, have an awesome day, and hopefully, you find some raids, have fun raiding, guys, good luck, and, uh, yeah, factions all the way.